targeting and fishing the curly buzz frog. This would apply to any buzz frog, a Stanley, a ribbit, a um, zoom horny toad, a seismic toad, uh, any of them, but this is one that I make. It's got curly tails instead of buzz tails or kick tails. The idea is to try and get it to uh, swim or kick at a little bit slower speed. This one shoots fairly well with hook guards on the top and a hook slot on the bottom to try and reduce fouled hook sets. This particular mold laminates fairly well in obvious colors like white pearl and watermelon or in less obvious colors. I've had pretty good luck rigging this frog on a Daiichi 5 aught copperhead hook. It's a screw-in swim bait style hook, but it's designed to rig Texas rigged as opposed to Tex posed, and the frog swims really nicely on it. Splash! Alright, let's see how it kicks on that Daiichi copperhead hook, guys. Here it comes. Oh, look at that frog go. Kick, 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 I've also had fairly good luck swimming it on a 5 aught Gamagatsu Superline hook. Again, Texas rigged, even though the uh, hook design looks like it would prefer text posing. Seems to work really well, gives the frog a nice belly arc, and it swims nicely through the water. And here it is, Texas rigged, not text posed, on a Gamagatsu Superline hook. As you can see, it swims steadily and kicks nicely all the way to the end of the retrieve, right up to the bank, or the boat, as the case may be. Totally missed him. <laughs> 